come with me to decorate 15 cakes in as little time as possible. First things first, I drink an iced coffee. Every morning when I get into the bakery, coffee is the first thing I do. And I have about six coffees a day. Some people think that's weird. I think there are worse things to be addicted to. I also think anyone who works in hospitality will understand the grind. When you are waking up at four in the morning and getting to work at five, sometimes you just need something to get you kickstarted for the day. Okay, with that sufficiently explained, let's talk about all of our cakes. Every single cake we make in the bakery is made to order. That means that we do not bake the cakes until someone places an order for them. It's a really great way to ensure that there is no waste, but also make sure that the customer is getting the freshest baked cake every single time. So we'll bake the cake on one day and then we will crumb coat it and stack it. And then on the third day, we will decorate and it'll be ready for pickup. We also use things like sugar soak in between the cake layers so that that cake stays fresher for longer. And then it's covered in buttercream so that it stays super fresh in the fridge because the cake itself is not exposed to the refrigerated air. Here you can see I am doing additional piping on the sides of the cake. This is an option extra not everyone chooses the additional piping so without that it's just going to be the base color of the cake with the chosen piping color around the edges so the bottom and the top will get those two layers of retro piping and then if the customer chooses extra piping then we will do the ruffles around the sides of the cake and then those extra I call them shells or like blobs kind of things that go on each of the ends of the ruffles an important thing to note, even though I am designated on the cake decorating for the day, I am also baking through all of the cookies in the background. Some of the team will help me out throughout the day, but they also have their own designated station. So we usually in the bakery have two people serving on the register. Then we have one person who is our barista, and then we have someone out the back who is managing all of the baking and cake decorating. Here you can see those blobs that I'm going in and putting on the ends of all of the ruffles around the side of the cake for that additional piping. And then it's also really Really popular. Usually when people select additional piping, they will also choose cherries on top, which I think is just the perfect combination. If you want to go all out, I think the additional piping definitely looks best with the maraschino cherries on top as well. All right, let's talk about colors. All of these cakes are customizable. So this cake here is baby blue with natural piping, but people change the colors of their cakes all the time. The most popular color is pink. Anything with pinks, reds, and whites are the most popular cakes. So I'll usually make all of those cakes first and then go back and do all of the random colors at the end. That is of course when I am organized, which I'm not always organized, especially on Fridays when I am making cakes for the Saturday pickups. That is the early Saturday morning pickups. We wanna make sure that we have them all ready to go because in the morning we have a line of customers up the street every single Saturday and now most weekdays that we open the bakery. So we wanna make sure that all of those cakes are ready to go because once upon a time, I used to make these cakes on the day that they were getting collected. So we would open the bakery at 8 and people would start collecting their cakes from 10 a.m. That left me two hours to make sometimes up to 10 to 15 cakes before we open and it was just very stressful so I decided not to do that anymore. Here's a quick trick to show you how I open those piping bags really easily. Just rub them together in your hands and then place that tip down the bottom, cut off the end and then I just like to twist in the piping bag and then hold it in one hand while I fill it and then straight away start piping the top of those cakes. I'm getting a little bit tired. It is getting more towards 6 p.m and I got to the bakery this morning at 5 30 a.m. so I'm starting to reach that time of the day and day of the week where things are just catching up with me. And you guys know that I love owning a bakery, but let me just say this, as much freedom as there is in going to work whenever you want and being able to choose your own hours, that usually doesn't mean that you work less. It's quite the opposite. It usually means that you work more because there's always something more that can be done, something you can work on, something you can do better or improve. And especially when I'm making cakes, I find myself there at the bakery nonstop because I am the only person who doesn't have a clock off time. So I will always be at the bakery very late on Friday evenings, sometimes until midnight and then come back into the bakery at four or five in the morning because Saturday is our busiest day. Would I change it for anything in the world? Absolutely not. I love owning a bakery and I love going to work and doing something I love every day. But this is the reality of my organized chaos, okay? <laughs> also known as my cake station. All right, let's talk about our buttercream. We make American buttercream in the bakery. I've shared this recipe before over on Instagram and TikTok and the comments were pretty brutal. I do use more butter than the original AMC buttercream. However, I find to get that glossy look and then when we color our buttercream, 
It works so well when coating the cakes. So I stand by it. And if you want to check out the recipe, I'll make sure to link it below. But the reason why we get these beautiful glossy cakes and people love the buttercream is because we do use a little bit more butter than usual. And also I always make sure to use 80% fat, butter, or higher. And that percentage is reflective of how much water is whipped into the butter. So I always like to make sure that I'm using 80% or higher fat content to make sure that we have that really delicious tasting American style buttercream. By this time, I think it's about 5 p.m. and the bakery has closed. I'm hoping to get out of here before dinner time, but it doesn't usually happen on Fridays. There's always so many people picking up their cakes on Fridays and Saturdays because most people celebrate on the weekends. I'm getting a little bit tired, as you can see, but it's been a long week and a long day to end a long week. However, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. No crazy chaotic cake dramas at this point in the day. And when I talk about cake chaos, I mean everything from dropping a cake, which yes, has happened before to sticking your finger in it when you're trying to move it around or take it out of the fridge which also yes has happened or even just simple things like making the cake the wrong color I've done that a few times but finally I reached my final cake and I am so excited I quickly managed to ice that last cake and then finally my last job of the day is to make all of the fondant letters this doesn't sound super crazy but it's one of the hardest parts of the job because I'm a Virgo and I am a complete perfectionist so I will stand here until midnight if it takes that long to get these letters perfect because they are the centerpiece going on the top of every single cake. And that's about me done for the day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see in the next video.